what is up aquarius i am back for another video we're gonna get right into this i'm your spiritual home girl we're gonna get into it so i'm not gonna use my cards this one i'm gonna use my other cards guys um i wanted to see what the fuck is going on i really haven't done these readings in so long so we're gonna try to figure out like um i don't know what i'm gonna name this but i'm just gonna pull the cards how spirit telling me to pull the goddamn cards um, also, if you hear somebody yelling and making noises and shit, that's my fucking neighbors. I don't know if they're high or what the fuck they're doing upstairs, but I don't know. Okay, so Aquarius, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all what's coming up to Warshaw, which I need to be aware of here. Um, You know what I'm saying? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to title this whatever it is. I'm going to pull three cards out of each thing I'm hearing, and we're going to go ahead and see what the message is. Let me get them. Let me get them shoot. Let me get them shoot. I don't know. I'm hearing that energy. Let's go ahead and do an eight card spread today. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. Um, Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. My lovelies, my loves. Okay. Oh shit, Aquarius. Those go together. I'll take that. Oh shit. Oh my god. This shit looking crazy, Aquarius. Off the rip, off the back, from the motherfucking hearts, from the motherfucking street. I guess that money. Like, you know how Jocelyn be saying that, y'all? Like, her crazy ass. Anyways, y'all, let's get some cards. Because this shit looking real um interesting here. If I might add. Oh, my God, Aquarius. Good God. I don't even know what I'm going to name this. But when I am done... We'll get it together. All right. I do appreciate you guys for being here. If you want to book a personal reading, the link is down below. If you want to shop the store, the crystals, you know, check out the Amazon wishes, contribute to me or the channel, you know, send me a gift, whatever you want to do here. Okay. It's all down below. Hold on, y'all. This is what y'all need to know, I guess. I, I don't know if I want to comment like what you need to know. I don't know. All right. All right, anything for the last? Ooh, okay. So, okay, so Aquarius, what you need to know is like a lot of people are passionately thinking about you here. You're on a, a lot of people's minds at this current time being, okay? I'm getting like, you're food for the soul. I'm hearing food for thought, food for the soul, and soul food, okay, as in chicken soup for the soul, if you ever read that book before. Um, but let's, let me tell you what's going on here, y'all, because this shit is going to get real interesting here. A lot of people have you on their mind, Aquarius, some good and some bad, but I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you from the streets, from the hearts, okay? From the period, okay? Um, So, let me see what tarot deck I want to use. Let's use this little mini one here. So, what's going on here, there is a masculine or feminine energy, but it's giving masculine here. Um, It could be masculine or feminine, but it's just a lot of masculines are all on these cards. You know, people can definitely operate out of their masculine and feminine energy. We have it both in us all. It's very general, y'all. Very motherfucking general. So, what you need to know right now is you own a lot of people motherfucking mind right now, but check this shit out. Somebody here who is prone to making bad choices, having bad habits, or I'm just getting, um, I'm hearing a song, Bad Religion, okay, by um Frank Ocean. Yeah, and, um... Yeah, that's what it is. I'm getting like people here, they're definitely, how do you say, very intrigued by your energy here. I'm getting, they thinking of you passionately, good way, bad way. I'm getting however they want to be sufficed or I'm getting whatever this may be. But this person here who definitely has a lot of bad choices and they could have definitely made some towards you. I don't doubt that at all. Whoever this person is, Aquarius, they sending you heavy evil eye right now. But it's like they're they're sending this shit to you. Like they could be smoking, thinking about you. I'm getting like they could be watching social media or they're just sending you the evil eye period. However, they can watch you without you knowing, okay? Yeah, whoever this person is, I'm getting like, um, don't trust them here. I'm getting like, you don't trust this person here, and they, I don't trust you back. I'm getting like, I don't blame you. I'm hearing, I don't blame you here. Spurs, I don't blame you for not trusting this person here. Whoever they are sending you this evil eye here, they're definitely playing the victim here, acting like that you've done something to them. You hurt them. You pissed in a cereal. You've done something wrong to them. Whoever this person is, they're going through major karma. They're going through a big ass disaster right now. They could definitely be going through something large. I'm hearing large and in charge, big karma here, big purr. Okay, big purr, as in like, um, period, because you're protected. Okay, and it's motherfuckers getting that evil eye right on back to the ass here you can also did a return and send the spell or you may want to go ahead and get one to take you a spiritual bath or you know do what egg can. but um whatever let's get a card on this person Whoever this person is, I'm getting like chameleon time. They switched up on you. I'm getting this is somebody here who could be a shapeshifter. Or they're very cold hearted here. They're acting like, you know, very cold and rude to you because it's like they're getting their karma for or for whatever the fuck they did to you. Like, that's what it is. Somebody could also be like a um, I don't know, I'm getting Leo energy. 
Somebody actually have that. But like I said, they're going through another, a brand new karmic cycle here. Okay, or again, like for them trying to put you in a new karmic cycle, they get in disaster mode energy. That's exactly what they're getting here. Yeah, but they're sending you to evil eye and they're going through insanity. They're pleading insanity there. Okay, insanity, pure insanity. It reminds me, I don't know, I'm getting carry vibes. Okay, um, I don't know, I'm getting that. Also, this person could be trying to hack your um, information or hack your energy or get somebody to hack your social media. Or they could be watching from fake accounts and creating weird ass shit. But it says, where are we going here? So this is somebody who fed off of your energy here, um, Aquarius. Yeah, like I said, you're heavily on this motherfucker's mind here. And they want to know where you're going. Like I'm saying, they want you to trust you. They want back in or they're sending you the evil eye because you won't let them come around you and put you in a new karmic cycle. They want to be attached to you or they're feeding off of your energy here. It's giving like um, shapeshifter or energy vampire energy, all right? Like, you know, out for blood, okay? um last card yeah an ending like i said you ending things with them i'm getting um yeah while they're going through a new karmic cycle by themselves whoever they're dealing with here um you're having happily and happily ending things with them okay but what they want to say to you here what they want to say to the aquarius because they definitely got you on their mind like, i'm getting like when they smoke or when they get by themselves or when they get at late at night or they think they think about you all right but in a bad way yeah ace of wands they want no beginning here they want to come and bring some type of passion or to reel you back in to to come through or you know deal with this karmic cycle with them all right but i said eight of cups you you turned your back on their ass i'm getting like your ass is grass tough titty all right ain't no sunshine when you go in here you took all your good light your passion your energy and everything and what with the devil card they're sitting there looking like the devil burning in hell going through ins in, in, in insanity okay and they play in the victim here because they can't um i'm getting like they don't have the mental capacity to actually take responsibility um for themselves say with the eight of swords they want to just bound and gag in their head or in your head here while they give you fake promises and shit like that but they're at the five of pentacles the bottom of the bottom of the bottom of the bottom like that song by Lil wayne sleeping at the top nightmares or the bottom their nightmares are becoming their reality okay um yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is, okay? Also, there could be other people here who's in this karmic cycle with them. Could be, like, family members, people here who are karmic just like them. But I'm getting, like, they won't, they don't care about these people, how they care about you. Or their energy does not suffice or um, extinguish their burning desire for you or their um, energetic, um, I don't even know what it is, but it's, like, a desire, a want for you. They're, like, yeah, that, they're cool over there, but I want Aquarius. Like, you know, but I don't know. It's really twisted. Like I said, a lot of motherfuckers is, is on is um thinking about you heavily and passionately right now. But right now with the sports card here, there's somebody here who either could like sports hanging out with their friends or the dudes or just, you know, being a couch potato. But this person here, um, whoever they are, they could definitely like sports, but I'm getting there watching you heavily. Could definitely be on your social media, like flipping. You're their favorite TV channel, you're their favorite thing to watch or check on, or they could definitely periodically check your page. Give me one second here. Hold on. Turn this light off in my um bathroom, y'all. Because I forgot I had that bitch on. Yeah. But Aquarius, whoever the fuck that this person is, all right, yeah, um, or they could play sports. But yeah, what's going on is that they're trying to find something sketchy or off about you, or trying to find your weak spot, or trying to find your sweet spot, okay? Trying to find out um what breaks you down, trying to find your buttons, your loopholes, or what is your um secret formula or your hidden weak spot here while they're watching you but i don't feel like they're hiding themselves or they're not hiding extremely well this is somebody here who's a dog so there could be like a like man or female it could be a dog or if it's female it could be a bitch not in a good way but i'm glad this is somebody here who's out in the street or they have a lot of lovers or um like they're a hot commodity but you're hot too and they're trying to figure out what makes you hot okay because they're starting to burn uh, or desire you and i'm getting like they could have definitely been in a third party here but they definitely want to be done with third party and come towards you here okay um it's like they're a dog or you know there's somebody here who's not non-committal they're um lacking a lot of attention here they're very ego driven here Okay, but at the same time, I'm getting like people are saying don't fuck with you here, but it's like they can't fuck with you here. They're wondering what makes you different, okay, than um them or like anybody else. Or like why are you so popular? Why are they so enticed to watch you? Okay. Yeah, whoever this person is, there's definitely a secret lover here. They have a secret lover or they want you to be their secret lover, okay? Like I said, this person is somebody here who's a doll. They have multiple lovers or multiple people who they talk to on social media or, or do back and forth banter with but it says whenever you call me i'll be there by the spinner so like i said they're passionately thinking of you here they're checking up your social media i don't think they're hiding here and you know they are they're hiding in plain sight okay but um yeah they, they want you to know that whenever you call or reach out to them whatever it is they'll be there all right 
yeah but they want to know what what it is about you here it's something about you like a certain genesis quad that is drawing them in but i'm getting like they doubt you they doubt that you will either be their secret lover or doubt that you will fall for them all right i'm getting like you may be living above your means here they're doubting you like they say you got a brand new house they're like oh you can't pay your bills you got a brand new car you can't pay that or you got some brand new clothes how did you afford that how did you you know what i'm saying like you're a hot shit but it's like they're trying to doubt that you're hot shit they're trying to figure out there has to be some type of loophole something is wrong to like discredit you or dominate you so they can feel better about themselves like ego driven but they still want you to be one of their secret lovers or they want to be one of your secret lovers it's like weird ulterior motives love hate i don't know they're very confusing here yeah but they definitely want to go on a vacation with you or spend some one-on-one -on -one time with you here okay yeah this could be somebody here who's your dog or a friend or like i said they're a dog here okay um that's just what it is period mm-hmm yep hold on y'all because i'm confusing my goddamn self okay so also what's going on here oh hold on before we move on to the next pile we're gonna see what they gotta say to you here okay yeah, I feel like the Seven of Swords, they're hiding, or like I said, they're they're being sneaky. They have a secret lover, but they want you as well. Or like I said, they don't mind being your secret lover or being there whenever you need them or your sneaky link or your quick fuck or whatever it is to get, you know, um, in contact with you. But with the, um, what is this? The Empress Cloud, yeah, so you're the Empress to them. They know you're the Empress here. But the Seven of Swords, they're trying to try to figure out how are you doing what you're doing? How are you living this lifestyle? How are you manifesting things? How are you the fucking Empress? There has to be a loophole. There has to be some type of weak spot here where I can tear you down or make myself feel better or my other lover feel better about you. Saying like, oh, like for example, let's say somebody said you're pretty. Oh, you're not all that. You have acne. You're not all that. Your hair is not long. Like, or somebody could say you have a nice body. Oh, you're not all that. You have cellulite. Like, you know, it's some shit like that here. Okay. Um... But yeah, you're the Empress with the Seven of Swords energy. They're trying to like be one of your sneaky links or down below here, but they're not really to be trusted. But they do want to have a good time with you here. It's like within means here. They want to see how you're really living. Or I'm hearing they want to be interpersonal with you. But with the Two of Pentacles, they want to juggle you and somebody else. Or they're not looking for a commitment. Like I said, they're a dog here. So, you know, one thing about dogs, they'll always, um, they're not a loyal dog. So like they'll eat off of your plate. They'll go to your neighbor's house. They'll go to the other motherfucking house. As long as y'all keep giving, 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 they're going to keep coming, coming, coming. But, yeah, with Ten of Wands, they have a lot of emotional, physical baggage or stress or a lot of uh, things on their plate right now. And they're trying to figure out how can you manage to back, um, juggle everything here. Yeah, but they're showing up as, as the King of Swords. Somebody here who's not um, biased here. They know how to um, communicate very, very well. Or they're trying to show up as somebody here who has a lot just like you, Seven of Pentacles here. I'm getting like they have a tree or something here that is of value, making money or something that is stable just like you okay but yeah they admire your whatever seeds you have planted that has grown exponentially here whatever accomplishments that you do have okay yeah i'm getting like you give it to people straight here or you make it very straightforward okay also you're on somebody else's mind here but this person is envious as fuck of you this is somebody here who does not want to make a mess with you they don't want to talk to you they don't fuck with you here this is somebody here who could have cheated on you or want to see if the grass was greener but it was artificial and they realize this and i'm getting like they have great pride they don't want to put their pride to the side they're envious of you here i really thought this is somebody here who you could have been dating aquarius or you could have been definitely um either dating pursuing or wanting to pursue you and i mean you could have gave them a chance here or maybe you were in a long-term situation with them whatever it may be but this person here they don't want to make amends with you they don't want to make up with you or you come might not, might not want to make up with them but like i said they want to go see the grass is green up they betrayed you here okay it was uh, trying to see what's going on and they went back to their ex or somebody who they said they wasn't fucking with this could also be a friend here so let's say somebody here say i don't fuck with them but then you see them hanging out with their friend or whatever it is or you hear about it or they say I don't fuck with my ex, but then you see them fucking with their ex, or you find out about it, or whatever this may be. Okay, you yeah, whoever this person is, I feel like the other party they were dealing with here, they got beef, or they both teamed up against you to create some type of beef here. I'm getting mad bitches link up energy, or mad niggas link up energy. You know, niggas be mad too. They acting like bitches, but like I said, this person here, um, I'm hearing like they have no remorse for what they did, or I'm getting like they're hoping that you're being haunted here. They're trying to haunt you in spiritual way, or trying to um behind the scenes here trying to sense that with envy or evil eye or something like that also i'm hearing the person's doing a freezer spell on you okay um i have this um song called brass knuckles playing by gang green and i just heard let that nigga freeze up so like i said this person here they're doing a freezer spell on you here they're trying to freeze you out like i don't they thought it was gonna hurt you whatever but yeah this person here was going on behind the scenes that they're trying to go viral here they're trying to um how do you say expose you trying like they're so envious of you they want to expose you to create some type of drama 
all right, for you here, all right? Wait, I'm getting like, you could be going viral for good things. They want you to go viral for bad things, okay? But yeah, Eight of Swords, they want you to be bound and gagged or I'm getting a victim here. They want to um, definitely tie you up or do like get you stuck here, not only mentally but physically here. Or if you're feeling that way, it's because they're doing this here. But we have the Four of Cups. I just got deja vu when I said that freezer shit. But yeah, we got the four of cups here. Like I said, these motherfuckers, they have an unrequited love for you here. You could definitely fuck with these people, but they didn't never fuck with you on that level. Yeah, four of pentacles, they always held back. I'm getting the requirements that they're pinning, pitching. They don't have a lot of money here. They could be envious of the lifestyle that you live or what you have going that's going well for you here. It could be your job or whatever. But yeah, three of cups, Matt, but just link up energy like I said here. Yeah, I'm getting like what the, I'm getting like two heads are better than one, but you're still stronger than both of them. You have the Wheel of Fortune card, okay? So I'm getting everything is turning in your favor here after you drop these motherfuckers, after they drop that zero and get with a hero because you're the hero. You're going to get a Ten of Cups as well, or they see you in the Ten of Cups while they're in the Four of Pentacles here, looking like damn, they mad as fuck. Them and their little group of motherfuckers here, they all mad. Yeah. But let's get some cards here. I'm getting like they want to stump on everything that you built or whatever you've been doing here. They want to stump on that. I'm getting make sure that you can't do or have anything else. What is this card? Yeah, I'm getting like flowers. They don't want to give you your flowers while you're here, give you your props here. They're envious of the flowers or the admiration you're getting from other people. Yeah, what is it about? Yeah, it says, I know you want to leave me, but I refuse to let you go. So I'm getting like, you don't want to deal with these motherfuckers here, but they refuse to let you go or let your energy go or, you know, just. They keep sending you envious energy, but, like, they refuse to let you go. They even have their fucking party or friend or whoever this other motherfucker is in on this shit. Yeah, also, they could definitely have an eviction notice or having an issue with their financial stability here or their home. Some of you guys, they could have got evicted here or they're hoping that you do get evicted or something like that. Um, I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, but it's I don't love you. This person does not love you here or have love for you. They just envy you. They envy what you have. Yeah, a degree. You can also have a degree with the school here. I'm getting there's a certain degree in their birth chart. I'm getting they don't love you to a certain degree here. Yeah, I have news question mark. They could definitely have your news here. I want to expose your news if you were dealing with this person or um whatever it is. This is like somebody who didn't love you. They could have used you to want to expose your news or like or like your videos or whatever this may be. Yeah, two, two, two. You could be seeing that a lot because this person here, I'm getting like this is an un unbalanced situation here, but there's nothing you can do. It's out of your control. All right, but you're a very high fucking class here, and they want people to show how dirty or how raunchy you really are here. All right, but I'm getting like you're not interested in this drama or this person or anything that they have going on here, okay? Or they're not even interesting, period. All right, but I have Uber here. You can maybe take an Uber. I'm getting they're trying to Uber everywhere. They may not have a car or, you know, this person is doing this shit Uber quick here. All right, yeah, there's that dynamic they share here. These two people that are working against you like it's giving misery but i have bad apple spoils the bunch so they're the bad apple here they're trying to spoil your bunch or try to spoil whatever you have going on here i'm gonna like somebody to also sit on the curb and smoke cigarettes if you sit on the curb when you oh you caught them doing this before but you need to definitely get you a talisman and do a timeout here i'm getting time out all right i'm getting like you need to block this person put them in timeout or they're already in timeout right now but you need to protect yourself as well yeah but they're not gonna say they're not saying anything, they're just watching from the sidelines. Also, there's somebody else who's watching you here, but I'm getting whoever this is who's watching you here. This definitely could be a, fe a female or a male who has a succubus if it's a female or an incubus spirit if it's a male that likes to seduce and manipulate the other sex, opposite sex here, or to get whatever they want here. I really feel like whoever this person is, um, somebody's trying to hurt you here. So this person was thinking of you a lot. I'm getting like you need to sexually protect yourself from this person for a multitude of reasons. But I'm really picking up. You need to protect yourself because whoever this person is, I really feel like they're trying to intentionally hurt you, cause you some type of harm here. Or I'm getting like um manipulate you either to get you pregnant or cause some type of uh harm here. Yeah, I'm getting like they don't need help here, or you don't need their help, or you don't need this person, but they need you. Okay, what is it about? Again, this person is one track minded. They only want to have sex with you, all right, and then hurt your feelings. But this is a karmic friend here of yours who has like sexual um, thoughts about you or whatever this may be. Yeah, whoever this person is, it's a sweet dream or a beautiful nightmare. This person wants to have a sweet dream with you or a wet dream or kind of have sex with you here or have their way with you here. Or they're like um, trying to send their achy or sucky bits towards you. Definitely could masturbate towards you or try to do whatever. This is definitely a fake Christian here. This friend is a fake Christian or um, they don't really fuck with spirituality like that, okay? Yeah, but whoever this person is, I'm getting like they know that you're a real one here, but they want to hurt you or I'm getting like they, they're hurt in their own stuff. They need help or they're crying for help here mentally or whatever it is. 
and they want to hurt you. Yeah, this is a narcissist here who I'm getting like they want to be in control of you or they want to be a narcissist towards you here. But you're an empath or you're a real one. You're the real deal. Yeah. Yeah, like things are getting interesting or they want to get interesting with you here. Okay. What is this? They may even want to trap you here. Yeah, it's time to move or move on. Like I said, it's time to move. The person's being really weird here. Okay, I'm going to try to hurt you. They may even try to send people to your home. I'm getting moved on from this friend. It's not a friend here. I don't feel as confident as I want to. They want. They don't want you to feel confident. They don't want you to feel like you're shit. They don't want you to feel any type of way. I'm getting like you're stopping their shine. You're hurting their ego. So now they want to hurt you physically here. Yeah, I'm getting like this person could do coke here. Or they do hardcore drugs. Or they've done it before. Yeah, I'm hearing can't raise a man, can't raise a woman. So they're emotionally immature. They haven't been raised right here. All right. Yeah, men or women. But whoever this person is, I'm getting like, this is a karmic soulmate of yours. Karmic friend turned karmic soulmate. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's what you need to know. So they, they want to, like, sexually hurt you here or get you pregnant or whatever. But I'm getting like, they're going to leave you a significant call of voicemail here. All right. Yeah, last card. It says, who pissed you off, baby? Tell me what he do. All right, like what Future say, who pissed you off, baby? Tell me what he do. I'll call your ex nigga if you really want me to. That's how the song go. Yeah, that's how that person wants to act like they fuck with you, but they really don't fuck with you like that, okay? Yeah, this person definitely at a distance from you here. Either you could have moved already or this person definitely has some type of distance or they moved or something like that. But he ain't got no money, though. Yeah, I'm getting like, it's time to sacrifice this person here. All right. I mean, also, there was a drug deal that gone bad with this person. They're going to try to involve you in some type of drug deal that went bad or it already has. Or they've been involved in one. But it says oh, they're offering some type of an irresistible offer here. Okay. Hoping that they can get towards you. I'm hearing fuck with me. I swear that nigga going to bleed. So I'm getting like, this person could be bleeding here. Could have recently got hurt them damn selves here. Okay. Yeah, for now, staying on their cues and peace here. I'm feeling, I'm getting for like a drug deal going wrong or something regarding drugs here. Yeah, but I'm getting Ace of Swords energy. They had a uh, had a short victory here. Or whatever they thought they were going to get regarding you or a situation and how whatever it is, they're not going to get a new. They're not going to get some type of victory here. Yeah, and I'm getting with the Eight of Wands energy. Communication is coming in slower. Could be blocked from this person, but with the Page of Cups averse, this is somebody here who um I'm getting like you already know what type of bullshit they be on. You know, Eight of Pentacles. So you keep your head down and working. Or they what you need to be doing here. I'm getting like they're trying to work harder and harder to make you get this offer, take this offer here. They're thinking about you. Like I said, they could be jacking off about you or playing with you. But yeah, they're trying to keep you all talk here or create talk or whatever this is to keep you reeled in here. They're definitely a narcissist. It could be covert, but you are the star, Aquarius. Here you are. You are the star and they want your energy or they want to be, you know, whatever you have here. Yeah, tempers could be, um, but it could be an Aquarius. Another Aquarius could be a, um. A uh, um Sagittarius or a, um a air sign here, friend. Yeah, but this is what's going on, Aquarius. All these motherfuckers thinking about you, and this is what it is, love. Hope this really did resonate for y'all, and I will definitely see y'all later. This is fucking crazy, okay.